a big thunderstorm over there. That's what's causing these strong winds. Um, I'd like to get offshore, but uh, if I go offshore, it's going to put me far, far away from the route I want to take to Sardinia. So I'm just going to have to uh, stick with it for a while. Which in some ways it's alright, it's um, the boat's flying along now, you know, six and a half knots. Um, it's more the thought of it, it's more the thought of it that, that scares you. Uh, at least there's no big waves, that, cause it's blowing offshore, uh, you know, from off the shore, it's, uh, it's not that bad, as, you know, it's, it's actually good sailing, believe it or not. Um, just don't leave thunderstorms stay away from me. Every night, um, well, for the last two nights in uh, in Hammamet in Tunisia, uh, about this time there's big, big lightning storms, and I mean like you know, real, real lightning, big lightning. And um, I, I just don't. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get away from Hammamet because. I've, that's where the bin, but you can see, I don't know, you can see the rain pushing down over there. And, and that's a big storm. Um, I'm just trying to keep out of it. At the moment it's blowing about 30 knots. We're up to about 40. But as I say, it's not that bad because the waves are, you know, no waves. Ooh, I I'm sailing. I'm now at 15 now, so. Fucking never what you want it to be.
it. Uh, after that storm last night, and it was a storm, uh, it was, I've seen 50, well, I've, I've filmed 48 knots, but I've seen 57 knots. Uh, I've had no sleep, um, because the, the main reason I've had no sleep, I've been going through shipping lanes all night, the storm died off after a couple of hours, um, and I've taken fishing um, shipping lanes all night, the, actually all day as well, with just ships everywhere, so I can't get any sleep, um, and the worst thing is, um, it's northwesterly winds, exactly the position I'm going, but turning gale force, there's a gale expected, um, with localised thunderstorms, um, and the thunderstorms, you know, like, like yesterday, got up to 57, 57 knots, um, which ain't nice, even though the waves weren't as big as they could have been. Uh, it's still not nice. Uh, so now I'm slap bang in the middle of exactly where there's um, uh, a gale, um, a gale force eight blowing, um, that I'm expected to blow. So I can't sleep because uh, because well I'm not be able to get any sleep in that anyway. But it's too busy for shipping. Um, I just can't wait get get into it and get it over with. I just I'm just I'm pissed off to be honest. Just hard work. No, it's not hard work now. It's just the waiting now. Just you're trying to go in the best direction you can. You think you might be able to get out of it, which is basically bang in the middle of the sea. Um, the, um, a, a big storm just just crashed me. Well, I've, I've just crashed it. Well, you probably can't see it, but uh, it's about ten mile away. Uh, I've seen it developing and I have to change course to stay well away from it. And now I'm going at 90 degrees, almost the way I want to go. Um, it's, it's a real worry because I won't get there before I run out of fags. Um, so anyway, I'll keep you posted. You know, by now I'm a moaning bastard. But, I'm, you know, the, the weather, how can you get it so wrong? Just. Literally, I've checked at the internet before I, set, before I went to get some fuel. Uh, when I got some fuel, the last thing I did, I went to the Capitanery, the, the Marina's office, and I checked the weather report. And, um, how can you get it so wrong? I, I checked the internet from, from the next, from the next hour. And uh, they were wrong for by, they were only 30 to 40 knots out, 180 degrees with the direction of the wind and the waves. How can they be so wrong so soon, like? It's just beyond me, I really don't know. So, as well, right, I'm actually um, sailing this route. I've got Jimmy Carl's Carnell's World Cruising New Route. And for his amble, right? That's me flat under quid of a buck, not far off. Just two bucks. I've got these books. Best time of year to travel is in that route from Malta to Tunisia, up the Tunisian coast, um, and, and towards Gibraltar, which I'm, you know, I'm just going slightly off course to go sad in here, but it says you've got to keep working the African coast. So I'm basically on course. Best time, August. It's August now. August now, and it's been absolutely terrible. You know, winter in the Med's bad enough. And it's been worse. I swear on my life, it's been worse. I never had I never had 57 knots of wind in the winter. 